Welcome to Local Fair. I'm Kyle Noonan, and with me is Teresa Frasini. And this is the restaurant review show with a twist. No critics here, just three regular diners who dish about their favorite places. This week, we threw on some jeans and a t-shirt and checked out three down-home spots. We've got food trucks, fried chicken, and a family-run diner, all coming up right now on Local Fair. Thanks for joining us this week at Bowl and Barrel, which happens to be one of my favorite places in DFW. If you've been watching, you know our guest reviewers meet here each week in the dining room. It's the perfect place for them to have a glass of wine, make friends, and let the conversation flow. Each of our reviewers has already visited the three restaurants we'll talk about today, but before we hear what they think, let's find out who they are. Our guest reviewers today are David Hershey, a creative director from Roanoke. He sent the table out to Babe's Chicken. Jeremy Frazier, a CIO from Dallas who recommended Mama's Daughter's Diner. And Cynthia Smoot, a PR and social media expert who suggested our first restaurant today, The Truck Yard. Well, I wouldn't call it a restaurant exactly. The Truck Yard's a place where there's always something new to try. Just make sure you order before your chef drives away. My name is Jason Boso. I'm the chef owner of Truck Yard and Stake Me Home Tonight. And we are located at 2634 Sears Street on Lois Greenville across from Trader Joe's. Truck Yard is a Texas beer garden. The food trucks are very much an amenity to this atmosphere and they, there's about 20 to 25 of them on a regular rotation. And then myself, I sell cheesesteaks and Carnival Barker ice cream, which is right around the front of the building. The people that come here, there is no person that comes here. You'll see a biker, you'll see a mom with her baby, you'll see a bunch of 30-somethings getting off work. Dallas doesn't have a beach party, but if there was, this would be the beach party. Okay, Cynthia, truck yard. Yeah. Tell me what this is. <laughs> Well, it's truly just a fabulous place. And one of the reasons that I love it is that it's really for people of all ages. I've been with my 13-year-old son. I took my 70-something-year-old mother who was up from Austin. I mean, and we all had a great time. This is the place that you can go whether you're single, on a date, with your whole family. It's just, it's fun for everybody. Excellent. What, so what type of food do they have there? Well, Jason Boso, who also owns Twisted Root, Open Truck Yard, and inside the building, he's making um, Philadelphia-style cheesesteak sandwiches. But out in the backyard, um, he lets three different food trucks come in every day, and there are different trucks for lunch and for dinner. So when you go, every time, it's a new experience. Nice. So had you ever even heard of it before? Uh, yeah, I went and checked it out on the opening weekend, and it was a lot of fun. It was a great atmosphere, great nights, uh, tons of people there. With plenty and dogs. Of, yeah, and dogs. Plenty, uh, plenty of places to sit, uh, either picnic tables, they had a couple beds of trucks that they turned into tables. Really? There was all sorts of just eclectic kind of different creative ways yeah, of I, sitting down I and with your friends. I call the decor redneck chic. Yes, that's a good way to describe <laughs> it. And it's very eco-friendly because it's really all comes from uh, repurposed goods, old trucks and... They had some kegs with stools on it that had yeah. up by one area. Like old so. tires with lights in them that they made chandeliers out of. I mean, it's just super cool. Wow. What did you think? I, I got to tell you, I was a bit, I was a skeptic. When, okay. I, when, when, I, when I was told I was going to a place called the Truck Yard. <laughs> um, so we get there, and when I got there, I was getting even more scared because it looked, you know, from the outside, it's very, it's very different looking. But when you get on the inside and you kind of realize how the place is, is all set up, I had a very uh, special guest with me. Uh, wasn't as fancy as, uh, as some of your family, but I had a, a salesperson in a white shirt and tie, and they, he blended in great with all the other folks that were there. I mean, there were there were all kinds of people there. It was, it was really cool. Really? Now, what time did you go? Was it? A I went for lunch. Okay. So there wasn't you know there wasn't live music. I saw the stage, mm -hmm. um, but there were three trucks there, and uh, but even at lunchtime it was pretty it was pretty busy, and uh, we we had a great time. I got a little sample from each of the trucks. Okay. And uh, and and really enjoyed it. It was really good. What was your favorite um, thing that you tried that day? I got, there was a truck there that was having, um, that had sliders. That was their specialty. They had slider specials. And those were some of the best sliders I'd ever had. It wasn't, uh, 
you know, it certainly wasn't the, the, the old dry, you know, grill burgers. These sure. things were these things were about an inch thick, mm -hmm. uh, were very, very juicy. And can we talk about the treehouse bar? Yes. Because that is one of the <laughs> They're like, lives. yes. <laughs> we thought you'd never get to it. So a treehouse bar, I mean, need, is that need a I say danger, more? though, getting up and down no. after no, you've had have, a few You can only have there. so many people up there. Oh, yeah. gosh. Okay. I think it, technically, I think it only seats like 14 or 15 people, okay. and there are big stairs, like, leading up to gotcha. it. You're not climbing a little rickety okay. ladder. And you know, when I was there, I think I saw... I saw two women up where you're talking about the, the the treehouse bar, and they were 65 plus. Okay. So they had no trouble yeah, getting up there. There are handrails on the stairs. <laughs> it was great, yeah. And they make um, specialty cocktails up there that you can only get upstairs at the bar, and they come in these cool little old soda bottles. I mean, it's just the the whole thing, just the ambiance and the atmosphere. I just think it's fantastic. I also love on the live music. It's just acoustic set, so it's not you know overpoweringly loud. It's just a pleasant addition to the scene. It's a really good place for a business lunch in, in my opinion. Mm. I, like I said, I went with uh, one of my colleagues from work and uh, you know we had a great time. All right, let's rate this on a scale from one to five. Um, obviously with the value, I think it depends on the food truck that's gonna go in there as well, but is this, what, what number rating would you give this and would you go back? Uh, I would definitely go back and uh, I would give it a four, okay. uh, a four out of five. I thought it was great. Um, I, I don't actually have any positive, you know, or, or any, any, any critical feedback other than the fact that it was just very different. I, I wouldn't normally go to a place like that, but I'm glad I did. Excellent. Yeah. How about for you, Jeremy? I give it a four. When I went, the, uh, the food trucks had sold out of food because there's so oh. many people there. And well, that's so that's kind of negative. So if you're going there and you want to check out a food truck and you're specifically, specifically going there, make sure to go early because um, you might miss out. But outside of that, it was great. You know, the, the cheesesteaks looked delicious. And you know everything was great on the inside and out, so okay. definitely a four. Well, I'd give it a four and a half. It's hard for me to give a food truck place <laughs> five stars, you know, when I equate that to something like the French Room. But four and a half, just for overall, um, I think it's fun. It's great atmosphere, great for all kinds of situations. I just think it's tremendous fun. And again, you never know what you're going to find when you get there. Sure, excellent. Okay, great. Thanks so much. When we come back, we'll take you to a place where lunch used to cost, listen to this, just 65 cents. Now the prices have changed since then, but not the family who runs it. Stay with us. We have things that we have every day, and then uh, we'll have specials every day of the week. If you're looking for a truly unique entertainment experience, look no further than Bowl and Barrel, Dallas' only modern American restaurant and tavern complete with 15 state-of-the-art bowling lanes. Whether it's a casual date, a private party, or a corporate event, Bowl and Barrel is a great way to spend an afternoon or evening and the place everyone will be talking about the next day. Great food, great drinks, and great bowling. What are you waiting for? Let's roll. Bowl and Barrel, 8084 Park Lane, Dallas. Like Teresa mentioned, the next diner opened with a lunch special that costs less than a buck. That was back in 1958, and since then, Mama's Daughter's Diner has become a Dallas favorite for old-fashioned home cooking. My name is Bonnie Jaggers, and I'm the manager of Mama's Daughter's Diner in Dallas, Texas. Mama's Daughter's Diner is a special place where everything's made from scratch and made with love. We're home cooking. We've been here for 25 years now. We have everything from breakfast all day, and every day we have different daily specials like chicken and dressing, chicken and dumplings. Every day we have chicken fried steak and chicken fried chicken, roast beef. We have a baker at each location that bakes our cobblers, our pies, our biscuits, our cornbread rolls. We have meringue pies, coconut, chocolate, strawberry banana that are to die for. It's really laid back. We have everything from white collar to blue collar. We're not like most restaurants nowadays. We still are family owned and my mom and I work in the restaurants every day. It makes it a little bit more special. Okay, so Jeremy, you recommended Mama's Daughter's Diner. That's right, and I, uh, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day by far, and so on the weekends I usually try and seek out some diners, and I've, I think I've hit them all, and Mama's Daughter's is definitely my favorite. It's been around for a long time, and you can tell when you go there the generations of people that have owned there and worked there, and it's just got all that love and attention to every detail, but it's also been kept up and it's still nice, so some of the places you go that 
are kind of falling down. There's kind sure. of that hole in the wall, which is sometimes fine, but I really like going there because it's it's nice and old, and it's got that uh, real homey feel to it. Just real open. There's lots of different tables, kind of people on communal tables sometimes. So it's just always a great spot to go. And, and uh, it's typical for you is breakfast. Is breakfast. What you like. yeah. What's your go-to that you get? Omelet with uh, you know bacon and cheese and some mushrooms or something like that, and then you know hash browns depending on how hungry you are. So I definitely go for that. But everything there is, is great. Pancakes, their pies. Uh, everything's fantastic. So now, they have more than one location. Yes. Right. Do you have a favorite one I, that you I like? I always to go, go to the one on Irving Boulevard, which is the original. Um, okay. I haven't really checked the other ones out, but that's my go-to. So, Cynthia, did you go for breakfast or lunch or dinner? Or um, I took my family. We went for brunch. Okay. Not an early morning person, so brunch, <laughs> um, which is my favorite meal of the day. I just I love breakfast food. Anything with eggs is fantastic, and um, you know I agree. It's just this is a great old-fashioned traditional diner. And there's that very comfortable feeling of that it has been there a long time, and you can tell like they've they've got it down. They know what they're doing. The traditional, you know, the grits and the biscuits and gravy, omelets, pancakes. I mean, they really have all the traditional offerings, and everything we had was fantastic. Now, did you do pancakes and pie, or did you just stick to breakfast? <laughs> I didn't think of pie as being an option, but you know, I'm... it's there. It's always an option. <laughs> and when my son see this, he's going to be like, pancakes and pie, yeah. awesome. You That's what we're getting now. next time. Gotta go back. I yeah. Love it. So my husband got an omelet. My son got chocolate chip pancakes. I just did sort of a traditional, you know, eggs, bacon, hash browns kind of. Mm -hmm breakfast so we had a little bit of everything and you know of course I had to sample everything and sure. <laughs> yeah it was all it was all fantastic. Excellent. How about for you David? You know I, I went for lunch and uh, so it was the height of lunchtime and when I walked in there I saw a crowd of people kind of waiting to get in I thought uh oh this is going to take a while. Sure. The guy literally looked at me and said you know how many of you guys I said one got a, got a table immediately and and I think I think the lady that waited on me was actually Mama. I think. No way. Oh, I, 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 I don't know who Mama is, but if, if maybe if, she if, was if, the daughter. I think maybe. I got daughter. Maybe it was Mama's one daughter. One of them. I, she was definitely in the family. <laughs> so, uh, but she was, and I actually I had to write down exactly what what she said to me. Mm -hmm. She told me, "We'll get you fixed up." I love that. <laughs> and I, see, I actually put it in my phone, and and everything was here. You are, honey. It was just like being at, uh, at at somebody at a family's you know house or something like that. I picture Flo from Mel's yeah. Diner. Do you guys yeah. remember that? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So she obviously knew what was on the menu. And yeah. What did you have for lunch there? Uh, I had the chicken fried steak mm. with uh, with the vegetables. And what was funny is I asked her. I said, uh, I said, what's what, what do you have that's a special? You know, I wanted to see what they would recommend. She didn't say a word. She just pointed to the menu and said right there and she pointed right I said well what would you recommend and then she pointed again like, to the are chicken you not fried. hearing me sir. right exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> and she made a good recommendation for the chicken fried steak and that's what I had but the other thing I liked about the restaurant though is again kind of like the, the the last place we went to there were these the, the seating is all kind of communal, communal it's it, yeah. it's all it's oh. all like picnic tables you know you're very kind of encouraged I think to kind of eat with your fellow Texans there which was kind of cool and that, nice. I think that kind of adds to the family atmosphere nice all right so what would you rate this one on a uh, one to five. I'd give it a four and a half. Okay. I, I thought it was really, I thought it was really good. A great place for for families or just a business lunch or very relaxed. They were they were very busy, but the food came out really fast and it was very good. All right. No, I'll give it a five, and that's why I recommend it. Sure. Sure. Uh, like I said, it's favorite diner, a great place to go, and it's worth the trip uh, if you're not real close by. Okay. Um, I'd give it a four. I just think it's you know good traditional comfort food can't beat it all right sounds like a great one thanks so much coming up next we'll find out why you don't have to be the first you just have to be the best i would want them to be able to expect great food i want them to expect a fun experience If you're looking for a truly unique entertainment experience, look no further than Bowl and Barrel, Dallas' only modern American restaurant and tavern complete with 15 state-of-the-art bowling lanes. Whether it's a casual date, a private party, or a corporate event, Bowl and Barrel is a great way to spend an afternoon or evening and the place everyone will be talking about the next day. Great food, great drinks, and great bowling. What are you waiting for? Let's roll. Bowl and Barrel, 8084 Park Lane, Dallas. Welcome back to Local Fair. If you're a foodie, then North Texas is a great place to live. We have talented chefs and creative owners inventing new dining experiences right before our eyes. I love that, but what I also love are places like Babe's. They're definitely not the first people to sell fried chicken, but our reviewer says they might be the best. 
Hi there, I'm Paul Vineyard. I'm CEO of Babe's Chicken Dinner Houses. We're sitting here today in our Roanoke restaurant, which was our first Babe's that we opened in 1992. To describe Babe's in one sentence, the closest I could come is a return to Grandma's house. It's home cooking. Uh, there's plenty of it. You have a good meal. And uh, we're real proud of our recipes. Many of them are my wife, who uh, his Babe was named after her. She developed the corn recipe that we use. We use my mother's and my grandmother's fried chicken recipe. We want it to be a complete evening's experience if you come. We want the food to be the best it can possibly be. We certainly want the service to be friendly and efficient. And we want you just to have a good time. Okay, obviously you like terms of endearment. We had honey in the last one. Now we're at Babes. That's Absolutely. what you recommended. So talk about Babes. Babes, if you've never been to Babes, then if it's a, it's a Texas tradition. You have to go to Babes. And I recommend you go to the original one in, in Roanoke. Um, I mean, if you like fried chicken, it is fantastic. If you've never had Babes fried chicken, you're not living until you've had that. That's my humble opinion. Um, I take my family there, uh, you know, at least once a month. My dad was down to visit me from Baltimore this, uh, this past week. First thing he asked is, where was that place where they did the chicken dance and we got that fried they did chicken? The chicken dance? They did the chicken the dance. Birthday. It was his yeah. birthday, like yes. That. No, 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 no. That they one? do that yeah. and they put the chicken, he had chicken hat on. 65 year old man put the chicken hat on his head and loved every second of it. So, but that, the food, the, 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 the service, the sides you get is just a good old down home Texas tradition. You gotta try it. Excellent. Okay, so had you been to Babes I'd before? I'd never been, but I've heard about it. So mm -hmm. I was really excited to go. And actually, I went to the one in Carrollton and it was great atmosphere, and we, I got to see the chicken dance, so I got to experience that. I and uh, I just loved, uh, the food was fantastic. It was juicy and crispy. We got the fried chicken, and also got some of the hickory chicken. And they have only four or five things to get, and you just tell them what you want. I want chicken fried steak, or fried chicken, or hickory chicken, or catfish, and I forgot what the other one what was. What is hickory chicken? It's just hickory smoked. It was just... Uh, is it still breaded and fried? No, or is it, no, it's it just more like skin a healthier, those, uh, yeah. Uh, like healthier, a healthier, healthier, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course sure, why not? Um, <laughs> you know, we got mashed potatoes and green beans and corn, corn and biscuits and gravy. Just kind of everybody gets that mm -hmm. and it's unlimited. You get as much as you want, they just keep bringing it out. So, You're kidding, have the yeah. sides unlimited? Uh, exactly. only, only the sides, not your protein. Uh, yeah, not the protein. Wow, that's So still. yeah, if you go with four or five people, you get a little bit of everything, you share it and everybody kind of has as much as they want and it was it was awesome i definitely uh wow. enjoyed it and loved the recommendation now did your family benefit from this restaurant as well my husband and i went and um I, the portions are great i mean like my husband actually got ribs and fried catfish because you know he, it was our job to sample a bunch yeah. of stuff yeah. um, it's a job it's she's a like job. we had to do it it's research and i got the chicken fried steak <laughs> literally we could have fed a family of eight i mean the portions were so big and like you said with the unlimited sides you did, it's definitely a great value for your money okay. looking around at the restaurant almost every table there had eight ten twelve people this is definitely a yeah. restaurant for groups for families Gotcha. Now, you need to know what you're walking into because it's a little <laughs> schmaltzy. <laughs> what is it? Not everybody what is loves schmaltzy? The, ch the kitsch. It reminded me of like Dick's Last Resort or the place where they cut your tie off. Yes. Like, they like the shtick there. I mean, okay. I, I literally expected a cowboy to come out juggling any second. <laughs> But if I could have just done this and focused on the food, the food was amazing. And the servers were so cute and friendly. And there's no menu. Yeah. My, so the, the waitress will come up and she's like, you can get chicken fried steak, fried catfish ribs. And she like reels it off. It's like, which one do you want? You and then I, I was like, and you know, and then she came back and my husband was like, are you going to bring us a menu? And she's like, I am the menu. <laughs> so no, that was brilliant. It was it's cute. It's a little easier. At the location in Roanoke, you have one of, you can choose one of two things. It's only fried chicken or chicken fried steak. Got so your, your choices are a little more limited. Yeah. So you get in there and it's, it's, it's A or B. Right. Which, yeah. which one it's do you want? Hard. So your choices yeah. are a little, a little more limited. Don't forget to ask to see the baby rattlers. Don't okay. forget to ask to see. The, That's part of I'll, the kitchen. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that, I'll leave do that as a tease. Them? You don't want to eat them. No. no, but you see them. Yes. Kids will love them. Okay, <laughs> I, I got nothing else on that one, I don't think. Let's rate this one, all right? I'm gonna start with you, Cynthia. How would you rate it? Uh, I'm gonna give it a four. Okay. I thought the food was outstanding. The atmosphere, not my cup of tea, but. Schmaltzy or what a little. Whatever you said, I yeah, liked your word. Schmaltz. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely give it a four and a half. It's great. It's a place, you know, you got friends coming from out of town. It's a place you got to take them and give them a little bit of uh, Texas down home uh, atmosphere. So I definitely liked it. 
Obviously, you live yeah. by it. You, you <laughs> love it. It's, it's two miles away from my house. It's the only fried food I'll ever eat. i got to give it a five. I love it. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, it sounds like a great choice. <laughs> when we return, I'll sit down with our restaurant expert, Kyle Noonan, to recap this week's choices. Stay tuned. If you're looking for a truly unique entertainment experience, look no further than Bowl and Barrel, Dallas only modern American restaurant and tavern complete with 15 state of the art bowling lanes. Whether it's a casual date, a private party, or a corporate event, Bowl and Barrel is a great way to spend an afternoon or evening and the place everyone will be talking about the next day. Great food, great drinks, and great bowling. What are you waiting for? Let's roll. Bowl and Barrel, 8084 Park Lane, Dallas. All right, Kyle, let's talk about Truckyard first. Brand new place, not even so much about food, but the atmosphere there. Well, it has a treehouse. That's what I they mean, said. It has That's a treehouse. Um, yeah, it's a really cool setting. It, when you hear the term Truckyard, you actually experience a Truckyard there. Sure. Um, but the food is something to, to talk about because with the way the food culture is moving, and people are, have, are kind of fascinated with food trucks right mm -hmm. now. Um, and having this, this one-stop shop where you can try a bunch of food trucks is a pretty cool idea. It's pretty revolutionary, and I'm really excited that it's part of the Dallas community now. Sure. It's just amazing that, that that's part of a restaurant's concept now, but they've got the right atmosphere, and they pull in the food trucks, and it's... And, you know, you can always go back and get something different because you never know who's going to be there, and, and uh, sure. it, again, it has a treehouse. A, a treehouse bar. Treehouse. Enough said. All right, let's talk about Babes and Mama da Mama's Daughter's Diner. Now... I would think with the health craze that everybody goes through, these might be a little bit not as busy, but that really doesn't seem to be the case. People still are loving this food. Yeah, but Babe's obviously is just family style, big portions, um, finger licking good chicken. Um, it's fantastic. And Mother's Daughters is one of my favorites. I love it. it guilty pleasure is the uh, biscuits that are probably the size of your head. And it's great food there too. It's fantastic. They all talk about pie, but nobody had pie there. You can't miss the pie. But the thing I love, and it was I was so excited that somebody said it, when you get called hun by, by, by a waitress, that just makes my day. It, it makes everybody happy. Right. And so, uh, you know, it really just has that, that old greasy spoon charm. Uh, I think the only thing that's missing is the cigarette hanging out of the, server, <laughs> the server's mouth. But, uh, but, yeah, they just hit the nail right on the head. It's Excellent. an awesome, awesome place. All right. Thanks, hon. <laughs> All right, well, that's our show for this week. Next time on Local Fair, we'll make three more ordinary diners into restaurant reviewers. Find out what they think of a well-known steakhouse and a rooftop patio next to a Dallas landmark. And if we still haven't covered your favorite place, then why don't you come on the show and tell us about it? Just visit localfairdfw.com and click on Be a Guest Reviewer. We're always on the lookout for people who want to get out, have fun, and enjoy the local fair. We'll see you next week.